For decades, TB has burdened vulnerable communities largely because of long oral treatment programs. Must doses breed drug resistant strains and deepen the epidemic. Patients are expected to take treatment of six months, which is difficult to sustain for those battling with social challenges. Scientists who have developed a new nanosystem say the treatment regime once rolled out will lighten up the burden on patients, deliver treatment with precision, and offer a real chance for turning the tide on TB across the country. This new TB inhalable nanomedicine that we're developing is basically an inhalable nanoformulation mist. So uh, in essence, uh, a patient would inhale a mist of the drugs that are corroded together. So unlike uh, the standard treatment that you have where you have to take four pills you know, every day for six months, this uh, new nanomedicine would enable patients to uh, to inhale maybe once or twice a week uh, all the four TP drugs, and it goes straight into the lungs, you know, where the TP hides. So unlike the the treatment that we currently have, uh, which comes with challenges such as poor patient adherence. TB continues to be a public health challenge in South Africa. The country is listed among the 30 burdened countries for TB, HIV-associated TB, and drug-resistant TB, bearing a significant portion of the global epidemic. In 2023, the disease claimed the lives of an estimated 56,000 people in the country. Juanita Adams, who had TB, says keeping up with treatment was very difficult. And when I came back for the result, they told me I have TB. So, but it was just after they told me I have TB that I've started to get the symptoms like the sweating and couldn't eat and then I lo lose a lot of weight. The things that I've struggled a lot was taking the medication because the medication <laughs> was very hard. Sometimes I forget, like in the second day I forget to take the medication and then it feels like I have to take two, but I can't take two. Ne? So the struggle was taking the medication every day and the side effects were so very, 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 yeah. It was not a nice feeling of the side effects. Clinical trials are next for the new TB nanomedicine and researchers are moving closer to bringing it to patients. Dr. Angema says the team is working on imaging studies to track how that medicine reaches the lungs. He adds that regulatory approval is still needed, but promising data suggests that the drug could reach the market within the next 5 to 10 years. A glimmer of hope for treatment across the continent. Warren Engelbrecht, SABC News, Kimberley.